Okay, Jay Washington is a Chicago-born professional wrestler turned stand-up comedian. You heard me correctly. Jay's antics during in-ring interviews made the transition from wrestling to comedy a seamless one. Today he can be found at all of the premier comedy clubs in and around Chicago. Before you check him out at jaywashington.com, check him out right here, right now on 7 on Ridge. Please welcome Jay Washington. Yeah. How's everybody doing? How are you feeling? Everybody good? Good, good. Like you heard, my name is Jay Washington, and I know most of you all don't even know who I am, and that's cool. A lot of y'all looking like this is just a big black guy with glasses on this stage. <laughs> but that's even fine, but I want you to know that being big, these glasses plus seven seasons of American Idol have raised my stock way the hell up. <laughs> because they swear up and down, I am Randy Jackson at Starbucks. I've been drinking free lattes all week. <laughs> Never had so much caffeine in my life. And I get it, I get it a lot. I get it wherever I go. I'm always out, people like, hey, is that Randy Jackson? Are you Randy Jackson? Is that Randy Jackson or CeeLo? I'm not really sure, but I get it a lot. I get it to the point where I want to meet Randy Jackson one day in a public place. I just want to run up on him and go, hey, do you know who you look like? <laughs> Only because I know his natural reaction gonna be, Dog, check it, dog, dog, baby, dog. <laughs> Listen, dog, dog. I'm Randy Jackson. <laughs> no, Pimpy, you look like me, homeboy. <laughs> but do you mind if I get your autograph real quick and take this picture and push it, put it on Instagram? Because ain't nobody gonna believe this unless it's on Instagram. In sepia. In sepia. A little bit about me, though. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to be alive too. Uh, not gonna lie, it's real rough in my neighborhood. It's rough. It's rough to the point where they need to deploy the troops in my neighborhood because it's getting ridiculous when I try to go to Starbucks and get my free lattes. It's getting really ridiculous. But a little about me, like I said, I grew up with a single mother on the south side from the projects, which means my mother was extremely ghetto. Allow me to explain. My mother was the type to send me to the store with $3 but tell me to get $5 worth of stuff. I'd ask her, how am I supposed to do this? She'll say, make it happen. Woman, I am six, not a magician. We just learned how to count two days ago. Don't add up. Like I said, my mother was a strong woman, real one of them strong black women, and she wanted to teach me how to fight. Now that's cool, but if your mama is five feet two and swinging on you, you like, go on, shorty, quit playing. Go on, little lady, go watch your soap operas. So one day she wanted to catch me slipping, so she swung at me. Now, I accidentally had a reflex swing. I was like, bow! I immediately became apologetic, like, ooh, mama, I am so sorry. All I remember was a bright flash of light waking up at Holy Cross Hospital, my mother on the side of me talking about, damn shame, you can't take no hit. <laughs> And I wanted to say something back, but I had on the oxygen mask and the EKG tabs on. <laughs> and my mother was the ghetto godmother of my neighborhood. She'd round all the kids up during the weekend, take us all to the movie theater to keep us out of trouble. But that woman ain't have a car, so we all on the bus and got to pay our own fare. <laughs> I'm six, Thomas. The mama ain't got enough for a transfer. Well, you just ain't going, huh? But she taught me a valuable lesson, which is the value of a dollar. And by that, I mean the dollar store. <laughs> but by the dollar store, I mean going to the dollar store before you go to the show to get your chips and candy so you don't pay them high prices and learn how to stuff some Sour Patch Kids down in your pants. <laughs> My mother was a bleed of a klepto is what I'm telling you. But I learned an important lesson out of all of that. I learned a very valuable lesson. I learned you never loan your mama no money. Because once you do, it goes out of the loan category and becomes a gift. <laughs> I loaned my mother $100 and asked for it back because I got bills. Without breaking stride, that woman looked at me and was like, I don't owe you nothing. I gave you life. So now I'm sitting here contemplating life decisions to myself. I'm like, I'm grown. I could say how I feel. But they about to cut off my cell phone and I need this money. 
So I manned up to my mom. I was like, look here, lady. That was almost 30 years ago. I loaned you this money two weeks ago. Now, can you run me my money? Well, all I remember was a bright flash of light waking back up at Holy Cross Hospital with my mother on the side of me talking about your broke, grown self still can't take no hit. Guess I didn't need that hundred dollars. But she's taught me a lot. She taught me a lot. Like she taught me how to be a good parent. I'm a proud father. I'm a proud father of an eight-year-old. Yes, proud father of an eight-year-old that I know he's mine because the test proved it. <laughs> Look, they say everybody on this planet got a twin, and I wanted to make sure that baby wasn't my twin. That's what I'm saying. I love my son to death and know a lot about my son, spend time with him, and I've learned that he is bad as hell. And I, I can admit that. I know he's bad. I know how he got bad. I hate people who got bad kids and that, like, they don't know how their kid got that way. Children are impressionable. They pick up on things you do and say. Children also will put your business out in the street and don't care who's around because they don't have a filter. I'm at the laundromat, for instance, at the laundromat doing my laundry. And this little black girl grabs, grabs her little brother's arm and was like, Traviante, who names their baby Traviante? You pretty much set that baby up for failure. Got worse. She was like, Traviante, come on, let's play Section 8. Okay, um, what exactly is Section 8? Section 8 is a government housing program, not the ghettoest form of house ever. But I'm nosy, I want to know how she play this while I'm doing laundry, so I'm listening. She tell them, okay, this is how we're going to play it. I'm going to play the caseworker, you play mama's boyfriend. Now you run in the basement and go hide like you're not supposed to be here. I said, oh, put these quarters in this dryer. But write this down, this is hilarious, Jesus. You gotta learn a lot for which things you go through for your kids. You gotta be up on things, like you gotta be up on technology. Like now everybody and their child is on Facebook. And that's cool, but I'm gonna tell you a problem with Facebook. If you are on Facebook and in a relationship, Facebook is the damn devil. <laughs> because now you can be tagged in pictures and don't even know about it. I am a comedian to have the pleasure of doing shows all over the country, meeting a bunch of different people and a bunch of different crowds. I did a couple of local shows one day and came home to my girlfriend at the time. It was late, she was like, oh, did you have a good time? I had a ball. Did you take any pictures? I took a few. I know, I printed them all off your Facebook page. Ooh. So then I start getting questioned about the pictures. Well, why is your arm around this chick's shoulder and around this chick's waist? Well, they liked my act and wanted to take a picture and I felt inclined to do so. Okay, well explain this picture, mister. Let me explain the picture to y'all. I happen to have the Captain America from the Avengers thumbs up like this. I had an icy cold drink in my other hand. And fellas, I had my face in the cleavage, the most round, beautiful, perfect, comfortable, symmetrical, 38 double D breast that God has ever put on this green earth. But I told her what had happened was I had slipped. And she was being a good Samaritan to try to help me keep me from falling. And right in the middle of my explanation, all I remember was a bright flash of light waking back up at Holy Cross Hospital with her on the side of me talking about some, yo mama said you can't take no hit. Thank you all, my name is Jay Washington. Y'all have been great. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Thank you, Jay.